Hey Sawyer folks, welcome to the Eddie Out High Water Edition. We're doing a how-to series. Over these next two parts, we're gonna show you how to redo your rope wrap at home. Do you wanna take your oar from looking like something like this, or has your rope finally just been spreading after a couple years of hard use on the water? Well, let's turn it into something like this so you have a new rope wrap and you're ready to go back out and hit those hard runs again. All right, the first step in our rope removal is going to be to use an X-Acto knife and we are going to remove the rope that is currently on the oar shaft. We're going to be careful not to go too deep here and impact the shaft, but just deep enough so we can start removing the rope wrap. We're going to start to remove the rope wrap and make sure we're careful for any dried epoxy so we don't cut our hands, be safe here, and we can move on to the next step once we remove all the rope on the shaft. All right, we're on our next step here, and we are gonna be removing our collar wraps. We're using a chisel and a mallet, and we're just gonna easily whack at the collar wraps until we remove all of the chunks. We don't need to be too perfect here, as in the next step, we'll worry about removing the excess chunks that are left. All right, we are on to our next step. Here we're gonna use um, some sandpaper, 80 grit is recommended, and we are gonna sand down the remaining epoxy that was left over from the previous rope wrap. Here is also the chance where you're gonna to have to remove any excess of those collar wrap chunks um, and just do a nice good light sanding um, so you get a smooth new surface to apply um, the new rope wrap in just a few minutes. All right, folks, we switched to a white shaft just for some visual contrast on this rope wrap. Dario is wiping down the shaft with just a little bit of acetone to take off any dirt and debris that might've been left over from the sanding. Now Dario is applying some epoxy be careful not to apply this to the top and bottom end of the wrap, just that middle section where you see the wrap was there before. We thicken our epoxy a little bit using some silica, but you can use some sawdust or any fine particles to thicken the epoxy. All right, on the next step, Dario is going to start by taping off approximately an inch of the 80 feet of rope from the kit. And at the top of the rope wrap, he's going to place that tape at a 90 degree angle. Now he's going to start wrapping over that little tail end down towards the bottom end of the rope wrap. We have two people on either end of the shaft right now helping him turn the shaft so he can keep a solid amount of tension. We recommend at least one person, but two people is easier so you can keep a consistent amount of tension and a consistent rope wrap throughout the rest of the shaft. All right, so as we get to the end of the wrap, we wanted to make sure that you've pre-tied a little bit of a five inch section of rope into a looped knot, and that's gonna be your pull through. Dario is now gonna get ready to put his pull through approximately five to six wraps prior to the end of his wrap. He's gonna place this in, in the direction so that the loop can be pulled towards the front of the start of the wrap to pull the tag end of the remaining rope through and seat that rope for the final finish. Remember to keep tension here as we wanna keep a strong amount of tension for this end so that we seat the rope correctly and have a solid finish. Now we're ready to finish off the rope wrap by pulling through our tag end. Dario has used a little bit of extra rope for some leverage, and he's trying to keep this as tight as possible so we have a good finish to our rope wrap. He's going to start to pull through that tag end, then trim off the remaining little bit of rope and finish that pull through. If there is any extra rope that is left over, just trim it or push it under the remaining wraps and use a little hammer to hammer out the rope so it's flat and flush and there you go you've wrapped your rope now we're going to move to the collar wrap section this is an optional part we do it on all of our oars that come out of the factory and we're just showing you if you wanted to do it at home dario is going to tape off the collar wrap on both the top and bottom part of the shaft and then use that same epoxy that we thickened up to put on the base of the shaft before we wrapped to use as the collar wrap. We've thickened this up like we said with silica. You can use some sawdust or any other type of fine grit at home just to use to thicken up that epoxy. Also does not need to be black. We put a special dye in there to match the rope wrap. If it's clear, that's totally fine. We're just using it. So a solid end point to our rope wrap and an extra part of uh, secure finish. Dario is now removing the tape after we've applied the collar wrap on the top and bottom parts of the oars. 
And once you are done, your oars are ready to go and get back out on the water. Thanks for watching, folks.